Good evening. Uh, welcome to the uh, Brookfield Board of Selectmen meeting of August 10th, 2021. Please rise and say the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. pledge I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, the to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. So uh, we want to start with uh, approving the warrant yep. articles. Um, we've got one withholding article for 71421 for $22,803.20. We've got a second for uh, withholding article for 72821 for $51,497.25. Mm -hmm. We've got an expense warrant for 81021 for $399,868.60. Then we have a payroll warrant for 811-21 for 168-253-75. I will make the motion uh, that we approve the uh, withholding warrant, two withholding warrants, an expense warrant, and a payroll warrant. I'll second that. All in favor, mm -hmm. say aye. 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 All right. We have two sets <coughs> of selectmen's minutes. There's, also, there's another I put in there, too, for August 3rd. I don't know if you had a chance to review what Linda did. I don't yeah. know if you did. I did not, but if you guys can give me, I did read the ones in advance for the 27th, so. Um, Wasn't that one the executive board? The executive and the yeah. regular, yeah. and then there's also eight. Yeah, I read them, and they were, I looked them over, and, oh, you have them there? Yeah, I have it here. I've got the, I've got all of them here, okay. so. I had looked at the ones for the 27th, they looked, I didn't see any material inaccuracies. No, they look fine. <laughs> has all of our votes recorded. And then the August 3rd. That was the August 3rd, that was the, was open meeting? Or was that? That was for the contract for the account. Okay, that was all the contract for the account. All right, can I have a motion to accept the minutes of August 3rd, um, July 27th, and then the executive minutes from July 27th? Yes, you have that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, so it looks like we had, um, let's take this in, since we have um, the highway superintendent here, let's start okay. with new business. Okay. So, come on down. Okay, do we have any materials relative to this? Did you provide us materials in advance for this, or do you just have the notes that you have? I didn't. I have this, which we just got today. Okay. And I just wanted to inform you about what we did get. We actually got two grants. One is a shared streets, which will be the Maple Street Central and Route 9 intersection. And then we also got uh, a complete streets grant for Central Street, which is, it'll go from about Common Street to the Route 9 intersection. Now, are those the ones we had gotten some money years, a couple of years back yeah. to do? And don't, didn't they need water lines? Was that the ones they need just out here on Central Street? So, so we are going to discuss with the water. I'm going to discuss with the water department tomorrow about doing the water main. That hasn't been decided. Yet. Oh, okay, all right. That'll be a separate. It'll be the same project, but separate costs. Okay. Um, we can't pay for water main with a complete street. It's great. Yeah. Okay. Now you said that Central Street and what? And then the Route Nine Maple and End of Central Street intersection. That's a shared street. So that one's for right around 165 and Central Street's 400,000. Now, um, another question I have, uh, is the state going to be coming in and doing anything like here in Brookfield that they did in West Brookfield with the, with the new sidewalks or anything? 
Um, no. No. Okay. That would no. be a complete streets grant. It's yeah. a different. It's a different. Oh, this program. is different. Okay, I didn't. Yeah, know. and actually, and actually, it sounds like we we got one of each. So it sounds like for so, an aspect of the project. Let me guess. It's kind of like a single project, but yeah. we've got two separate grants that are helping to fund it. Okay. We have two separate grants, and we're going to tie them both into one project because okay. they're they're right there. One, you know, one contractor. Hopefully. Okay. 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 Um, water main has to get ironed out. Um, we kind of tentatively agreed that we'd probably use the same engineer, engineering company for water and the street design. And I actually have a quote from them on what that would cost. Okay. And is, is the engineering work um, high enough value in and of itself that, that we have any type of... They're exempt from procurement. The engineering is exempt oh, okay. from okay. procurement. Yes. So what did you get for a price on that? So it's... Now you gotta remember this is water, yep. the water design and the street, and it's uh, 187 thousand. <clears throat> the breakdowns here, you guys can check this out okay. if you want. And this is actually the company that helped us get these grants. Oh. Now the the grant funding cannot pay for the cannot pay for the engineering. So what's the John proposal? And I can't. We, we gotta come up with that money. Really? What's your deadline for using this grant? The projects have to be completed by October of 22. Mm. You know what? That was kind of like saying quiet in the emergency room, it saying was. we didn't need to do a fall special. I think. And I don't know this for sure, but I'm, I'm thinking I can come up with some money to keep the ball rolling through this winter so we can get a design out of our budget at the highway or the road reconstruction account. And that will get us in line to, to, to come up with the money and to keep things moving so we can complete the projects. I see what you're saying. So if you pay as you go... With some of your other budgets, yeah, you're thinking that we could actually slow roll it enough that you pay for your engineering immediately following the annual town meeting. Correct. Kelly, what is your opinion on that? I haven't looked at the budget, okay. um, but I, I don't doubt that he knows what his budget is oh, okay. and what his expenses are. Right. So there's absolutely nothing um, wrong with doing it that okay. way if it can be afforded. Yeah, that's that's right. a great way yeah. to do I it. I think the other thing you we can could do, do it in phases. You can have the engineer I mean, do the design so in phases. I know. I'm just dropping this, but we've worked on the, the complete streets project to get to this point. And I talked to this guy, Bill, who, who's from BSC, and he says he told me the deadline was like four days away. So he goes, I can get this grant in if you want. So we submitted it and we got it which we didn't plan on getting it, but we did. Right, and, and here's my thought. Now, this is where it puts a little bit of a press on, on you and the advisory committee and all that. We historically have not had our annual town meeting in May when we can actually hold it, mm -hmm. yeah. right? What, what is, I think our bylaw says we're the supposed to have it. The bylaw is supposed to be the first Friday in May. Right. But we... We've been able okay, to do Okay, now it. I have a twitch. You haven't been doing it according no. to the bylaw? No. No, we've been, we've been carrying it over until June until we knew what the um, cherry sheet figures were and everything. And yeah, you can, you can go ahead and like have your eyebrows, you know, excavate all the way out of your head. So, um, <laughs> it, it sounds like, especially if we manage to hold our annual town meeting where we're supposed to hold our annual town meeting, okay. we, we would probably be okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we can also do a special simultaneously with the annual. Right. Yeah. Understood. So, I see where you're going with that. Mm. So, um, you, we don't want to hold a special town before no. the annual? No, no, we don't. No, no. okay. Mm -mm. Right, and I think that's... Remember, uh, some of this money can be paid through the water department's funds also. Oh. Right, because a portion of the design is going to be for the water. It's, it's about 50 grand just for water. 
Okay. okay. So, and and that There's helps. A breakdown in there if you want. To yeah. Is it what is it the last page? I would, I would appreciate a copy of that oh, yeah. if you have a I chance. Just, I literally just got that today. Like yeah. Before, yeah. So. That's that's fine. Okay. So so the way that one hundred eighty-seven thousand breaks out just for for everybody's education. God, I really got to start bringing reading glasses. Do you want me to read? No, it's okay. I got it. <laughs> My arms are still long enough, just just barely. You have though. reading glasses, don't you? Um, yeah, but they're probably too. I I only need like. Tiny bit, so. Did ever try? I'm not sure. Um, so project initiation data collection is like 8,500. Field survey is 28,500. Preliminary roadway design is 60. Preliminary water main design is 22. Final roadway design is 38. Final water main is 13,500. And then prepare contract documents and bidding is 16,500. Um, and then there's some direct expenses, um, 6,500 for pavement probes, 3,500 for traffic counts, and then 2,500 for mileage and printing. Um, so I'm not, I'm, I'm not aware of what's usual and customary for some of these, given mm -hmm. the scope of the project. I won't claim yeah. to be an expert on it, but it sounds like that would give, um, I can see where where each of those is its own discrete task, I can see mm -hmm. where some of those could easily get covered. Yes, from it sounds budgets. like it's it's a very doable um, project. Yeah, it's in line with like Westbrook Fields done a couple of these similar grants, and mm -hmm. that's that's pretty much in line. Yeah, with that's what the engineering cost is going to be. So, um, and it's also we're doing yeah. two projects actually Ooh. at once. Yeah, Ooh. we're kind of rolling. It's really, actually, it's three because it's the water project That's correct, yeah. and two road projects fundamentally. Yeah. Um, so, it's if you considered it sixty dollars a design per project, it seems a lot more reasonable. Yeah. Um, and did we? I guess my one other concern, though, um, would be. The appropriations, did we appropriate enough for the water department at town meeting to cover their portion of it until we get to the next town meeting, or are they in the same boat? I don't know. I'm, I'm, there's, there's a meeting tomorrow at 11 that I'm going to okay. talk about that stuff. And, well, that's, that's their finances, but. Yeah. Um, Adam, you can join us. No, it's okay. So there's one more, actually. Green Street has become qualified. If we wanted to, I know we have some money in engineering coming up already, but if we wanted to, we can apply for a Green Street um, CBDG grant, just like we did on Hayden High okay. for September 10th. I think that I, I think that's a good idea because there's always been problems on Green Street. And it, it, that also needs a lot. Yes, so that needs it. That oh, yeah. yeah. So, and it would be an opportunity to tie it into this I larger think, project. Yeah. No, that would have to be. Totally that would have to so be this totally is a separate total separate, separate one. Separate, yeah. yeah. Okay. And that would be probably like two years down. The well, road. I was going to say that you have a longer. You tend to have a longer time on that. So we'd be yeah. looking at 2023 for Green Street. Yeah, more than one. And that's only if we got. We didn't. We have to apply. You want to move forward? Okay. So. No, I, I think um, I think you should apply for the Green Street. Okay. Now, so. Yeah. Do we need an actual? We don't need an actual vote for that. No. Uh, an actual what? We don't need an actual. You don't vote need to, to vote on that. applications for yeah. green. And so now, who who, who, who you'd you be applying to for the Green Street? That's through CMRPC. Oh, yeah, that, the CBDG. Okay. And have you already talked to the CBDG advisory? Were they on board with it? Um, the only. I've only talked to CMRPC. Okay. Who is, so, who, is who wrote the grant for Hayden and Hyde? And, right, but you want to get with our CBDG grant committee. No, that is uh, that is on their list of projects. Oh, okay. That okay. Is, yes. okay. Yes. All right. So, I know I haven't looked at their documentation in a while. Okay. So they're aware that yeah, you, that's when you want to pursue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, and Adam, were you here for that whole conversation or did you come in partway through? Just partway through. Okay, um, 
fundamentally can Is this your only coffee, right? Yeah. What's that? Can you break yeah, coffee? Right okay, okay, so, so make coffee before, coffee before you walk out of here, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, fundamentally, um, this engineering company assisted Ryan in applying for two separate grants that um, apply to some aspect of the, the piece of road between Maple Street and uh, the end of Central. So uh, one is a shared streets grant, which is for that intersection portion where Route 9 crosses because yep. we can't touch the state's roads without, in essence, their, well, their knowledge and permission, right? Yep. And then complete streets for the balance of Central Street because it's intended to make it bike and, and, and pedestrian yeah, friendly. Oh, interesting. Okay. When, you, when you do a, a complete streets grant, it has to meet some pretty stringent requirements of making it friendly for all types of conveyance. Is that why West Brookfield has been undergoing Yes. They're crazy. Well, the, theirs is a little bit different grant, but it's going to be similar. Similar, okay. Theirs yeah. is a different grant, yeah. Yeah, and so the, the, the only kicker is that the and that engineering design is not covered by the grant monies and is $187,000 inclusive of the water main design for yeah, the infrastructure that's under the road because even though it can't, even though these grants can't explicitly include the water main work since mm -hmm. you've already got the road opened up in order to do the road work it's a great opportunity to, to, the, to yeah. lower the cost of doing the yep. the water main work yeah water work of course so yeah, we, we have to do it one shot yep. so. yeah that's really exciting yeah that the town got so much money so yeah. it's a total of half a million plus right yeah yeah, yeah. Five, yeah. Five, yeah, 565, 565. If, if my math it's is in, correct. It's in the ballpark. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it's great. Well done. It's great. So, congratulations, Ryan. Yes, well Thank done. Uh, cool. Okay. And and are you guys positioned decently to do Green Street? Are you, are they helping you as well? Is is Cindy this already gotten is it? Not. Okay, is Cindy doing it or is Kathy? No, CMRPC is going to write the grant for Oh, grant. really? Okay, and, great. And then we'll sign it. And, and, and then they'll administrate, and then we'll pay them to administrate it. Yeah. So. This is okay. a, yeah, 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 I was going to say Kathy. Yeah, I, I don't she think they have me. the go-ahead to apply for that yet. What's um, that? They don't have the go-ahead to apply for that yet, but I think okay. we're going to in the next few weeks. Yeah, probably not they have to hold the hearing first, which is one of the reasons they have to advertise it for two weeks and then okay. hold the hearing. Got it. And, yeah, and they're looking for someone from the town to sign off on um, environmental impacts. Okay. So, so would, environmental impacts, they need to take it to our CONCOM. Exactly. That's yep. what I said. He mm -hmm. asked if I would do it, and I said, absolutely not, because I'm not signing off on something that I have no knowledge. This no. is not and, my and wheelhouse. And we have a, we have a, we have a very, so. we have a, a really good team in place right now on our CONCOM. Mm -hmm. so, and yeah, so we, we need to reach out to CONCOM and see if, if, do we have a conservation agent or just a, or a conservation commission? Just the, com the commission. And, and, and the chair. Okay. And the chair. Yeah. So it would probably right. be best for you, probably for you to reach out to Sue Brogan and okay. get introduced to her. I've actually spoken to her already, so I will, I will reach out to Sue and yep. see. See how she wants to handle that piece yeah. of it. Then he suggested that it be one of the selectmen, and I'm like, no. <laughs> no, we need somebody who actually can sign off mm -hmm. because they're going to be on the hook. They're going to be responsible right. yeah. for the environmental impact if they're signing off that all the I's are dotted mm -hmm. and the T's, T's are crossed. Yeah. So right. they need to know what they're looking at. So we'll, yeah. we'll figure it out. Yeah. So Some of the construction aspect for this project out here on Central Street, um, I already asked if we could keep the diagonal parking because I think that that would upset people if we don't. It would. Yeah. yeah. It most likely and, would. And complete streets is not friendly to diagonal parking usually because you have a width that you have to work in. Right. Um, he thinks we can do it here. Okay. That way we won't lose parking. So that's that's really good. That would be good. Yeah. And then uh, I want to reuse and reset some a lot of the granite that we already have. Right. And that saves a lot of money there too. Yeah. Okay. Great. And maybe I, it, I will no longer have my death trap of an ice all, pond right behind my driveway. All, that would be very exciting. I kept threatening to go up to the barn and get a bunch of, of cold patch and just fill, fill in the gap so that I don't die in the winter. <laughs> There's a light at the end of the tunnel here. <laughs>
so. Yeah. All then right. I've noticed another thing which you've done, you put a lot of coal patch right in front of like the granite areas out I here in front. It. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I did. Yes, because that was the place people very commonly they tripped and they fell in there. Yeah. yeah. We had a, a tax collector back when I was here, she fell and she broke her ankle mm -hmm. in it. So I've seen that you've done that, and so that's good. So thank no, you for doing that. It's time. It's time to get this redone. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Looking forward to it. All right. Real okay. fun. Um, if you, well, you have what you need tonight at least. Yeah. So yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's thank good. you for the good news. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Have a good night. Awesome. Okay, right. Good night. Okay. Second piece of new business is the document shredding services contract. What happened was we were asked to look into procuring a, an industrial type of shred. Yep. That's really expensive. They are very expensive. And they burn out really easily. Yeah. So I asked Karen if she would look into shredding services, which are fairly inexpensive. Um, they certify this, everything shredded on site, you get a barrel that has a lock on it, so once the documents are in, they're locked in, you can't take them out. Yep. They shred it on site, they give you a receipt for your procurement so you mm -hmm. can show that you, the documents were disposed of properly. And it's extremely cost efficient. What is it, 140 for the it year? It is 140 for the whole year, it's $35 every time they change it we could it was 65 they agreed to go to 95 since you looked up gallon the gallon, bin. gallon gallon bins yep. yes because yep. i looked up the state bid and went uh -uh, we get this for 90 we get the 95 um, gallon bin for this yeah. price so karen followed up on it and so we'll have yeah, a 95 gallon bin good. with a lock though when it's full they come and they right. shred it and give us back our empty bin we have appropriate paperwork for the state showing that our records have been disposed of properly so that will help with um and we don't have to eat the cost of a shredder right? and maintenance of a shredder. And then how do we prove that what we shredded, what that shredded. we shredded them properly? <coughs> right. This, this solves a lot of um, Those issues. legal issues that, that are potential uh, problems for the town. Right. It's so. a state bid, so didn't have to go out for procurement. Yep. And, yeah, and this puts us in a good position because I know that we're talking about going after the grant for the King system stuff. Yes. As a matter of fact, a letter came out from Governor Baker with the, uh, to the towns yesterday, um, actually right as I was leaving, and I forwarded it to Kathy, and she's already working on the application for the best use practice, um, financial best use practice, I believe is what, the, what it falls under, to get a grant to cover the entire destruction of the records and the cleaning up and reorganization, yeah. the shelving and the microfilming oh, wow. of all the documents. That would and be great. Hopefully we'll get it. It's, it's been given to towns. Um, there's a record of this being a, a funded project for other cities and towns. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So we have a good shot at getting oh, it good. and getting this, um, getting all the records in one location, very nicely organized and having a very searchable database. For the for that yeah for the items that have been now is this King and Association are they underneath them um, this grant program no they have nothing to do with oh, the okay. grant um, when when I found out what their quote was for the project I kind of I, I looked at Mike and yeah. said well this quote's only good for six months and we're not going to have free cash mm. in time and yeah. we're not going to do this mm. until the next annual yeah. town meeting. And, and then I thought about it for a minute and I went, wait a minute, complete, the, the community compact grants are coming up. Yeah, they're so coming I went and spoke too. with Kathy, who said that yes, absolutely, she did some research and this is absolutely a, a project that mm -hmm. the complete uh, community compact would uh, back. So, okay, great. Then we don't have to wait till next year to get I had, it done. Um, I had gone last Wednesday to a Worcester County Town Corps meeting. Mm -hmm. And um, I was talking to some of my friends, Town Corp friends about this, and they said King is very expensive. And they gave me the name of, um, she's a town administrator mm -hmm. that used that, they used their service. And she said uh, it would be a good idea to maybe call them and ask them what they thought of them. Yes, yeah, they did give us references. So yeah. we, can, we can look at those. But in the meantime, 
It's, it's not a bad thing to have yeah. the quote to go oh, out for the no, grant. And if no, we correct. do get the grant and we find a company that's as yeah. efficient and may mm -hmm. do a different job yeah. within the same budget, we have that yeah. option. Do we know good. if there's... Um, it's well below the procurement level, though, for going out for no. bids. So, okay. so um, well, this looks like a good option, though, in terms of, like, near term. I know it doesn't address our, our, our longer term backlog but this would at least give us an opportunity to shred yeah. as we go yes 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 and and once we have the um, records project up and running there will be lots of documents that need to be disposed of properly right. well of course we have to request permission to destroy yeah. them through um, the Secret secretary yeah. of state's office through the uh, secretary of the commonwealth pardon me um, for records re under the records retention yeah. laws but it's a good start. Yes, it is. Okay, great. I think that's a good idea. Okay, so do we, do we, have, do you guys want to take a look at the contract, or do you want to just make a motion to accept it, since it's a state bid? State bid. Yeah, I think I'll make. Uh, Kelly's gone over it, and she knows, and I trust her judgment. So um, I would make a a motion that we accept the uh, state bid for um, document service contract. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So that's for pro, sh that's uh, to accept the pro shred security yeah. mm -hmm. contract. So does it, does it have a place to sign or you're take, gonna take no care of this? There's no place to sign now. Mm -hmm. said that would serve as a contract. But. Uh, we're actually purchasing a service that doesn't require Fire contract. Yeah. Yeah. Require a contract. It's an ongoing monthly service. Okay, so it's basically it's, it's literally this like trash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's more informational than anything else. Yes. It was just on here as a contract. That's why I was mm -hmm. asking. So, got it. All right. So old business. Um, you you provided a status on. The 2021 articles, it looks like? Yes, I found the 2021 articles and some 2018 and some 2020. I jotted them down out of order so they're not in order on the list. That's I was just trying to transfer my notes into this format so that it would be easy to follow. Um, we can go through it article by article. We did this two weeks ago, so there isn't a lot of change. Um, but okay. However... I left the boiler and the snow plates in the hands of the Town Hall Improvement Committee, and they have been very efficient. Um, the, there will be people in on the 19th to remove the asbestos for the boiler to get started, and so that is up and running. And the snow pleats, we have a call out, and this is Al and Dawn and that committee that's mm -hmm. doing this. Yeah. Um, they have a they have a call out to the person who is supposed to be doing the snow cleats to schedule it as soon as possible because we want to get those up before it gets cold. So that's moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, okay. The shed for the transfer station. So apparently there was a concrete slab funded and it was funded in 2020 but has not been put in yet. Okay. okay. So what I, what I need to do, and I just, I just found this out last week that um, I need to speak with the people at the, who are running the transfer station and we need to find out where they got their numbers from because there's been funding in two separate years. We had the, was it $4,000 for the pad, which was in 2018, pardon me, not 2020. Um, and then we did the shed okay. this year in 2021. So when I, I don't know that that four thousand dollars will be enough anymore with the way building materials have skyrocketed, yeah. and this is this well, is combination a, of building materials, and I know that our highway department had historically done a lot of the dirt work for things like concrete. Okay, slab so there. yeah, so the excavation is, yeah. is is something that we'll have, have to talk to Ryan. So I just need to coordinate everybody because yeah. I only found out about this missing piece. La I think it was last Wednesday that I, I found out about the missing piece because when I asked. What's going on with the shed and who's who's running this? Um, I was told nothing. <laughs> Not yet. 
Got it. So, but we'll follow through on that. Um, the Common Street, the um, 18 Common Street, we're currently waiting for the uh, title search. They take up to four weeks okay. to be done. If they're not busy right now with the current market, title searches are off the wall. Yeah. They're straight out with them. So we're hoping that four weeks is a good, a yeah. good call for the um, amount of time it'll take. It can take up to six or seven weeks to get the title search back. Yeah, I'm, okay. Yeah. The master plan, we have a quote for $25,695. Now that's not a realistic quote for a master plan. Master plans cost anywhere from sixty dollars to $160,000 to do. So I need a little more detail on this and find out exactly what was quoted. Um, under Mass General Law, the planning board is the one responsible for creating a master plan. No one else, the planning board. In a town this size, master plans are designed for cities. They're not designed for little towns. And there are a lot of things that are included in a, quote, master plan that don't apply to little towns. Have you reviewed the one that was done previously? No, I have not. I was not aware that there was one we, done previously. Right, so there was one done previously. So it's, maybe it's that's why this was so inexpensive a quote it's was because update. it's an update not an actual new master plan. correct okay that's that, that's the reason why i was interrupting you sorry there, no, was, a method, there was a method to my madness on that's that one. anytime <laughs> so, right. so so i need I'll to find thank you karen yeah. i get a copy of that and review yeah that. and I, I suspect because i think it was cmrpc that supported us in getting our first master plan done we had a master plan committee that was stood up a purpose-built committee just because the the planning board when was that was pretty much flat out I got I think it was uh, I think it's six yeah, years ago six years ago yeah the master plan committee yeah and I think it was only it was only five I think they're only good for five or ten years actually it's longer than that because I think they're good for ten years mm -hmm. and I think it expired so yeah, yeah. it was it I was when I first got yeah it was, it was like a little bit after I first got the town actually okay. so okay. Um, so it was probably more on the, on the order of like probably 10 or 12 years ago. Oh, so it's been a long time. Yeah. Since I, okay. Yeah, I think it was in the in the in-between period, like after you retired out of town clerk and before you came back as a, yeah. on the member of Board of Selectmen. May, May 2011. May 2011, there we go. When so it was 10 years when ago. When it expired when it was No, done. that's when the, according to the website, that's when the planning board unanimous, unanimously approved the master plan document submitted ah, okay. by the Open Space Master Plan Committee. There you go. Okay. It's up on the uh, And is this committee still functioning? Not. No, I don't think so. No. Truly, no. It, it, it's been defunct, though. Um, I know there were a couple of people interested. I know Clarence was trying to put it back together on his way out of Board of Selectmen because he had expressed a willingness to, to try to get us a refreshed master plan because it's handy when applying for yeah. certain types of grants. Okay. And I have some names. And you have and some names. The people who will see if they're still interested if you want. They were never officially appointed. It was just, right. yes, please. Yeah, and there's a list on the uh, the PDF that's online. There's a okay. list of past and present as of 2011 members. Okay. Oh, so the master plan is online? Yeah, it's on the yeah. town website. It's on the town website. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's under boards and committees, the open space master, master plan. I like hearing when things are on the on the website because yeah. the more things we have up there the better for the residents to yes. see what's going on absolutely so so Great, that so. that is what all of that is based off of mm -hmm. so i i think given the constraints and type of master plan that it is because it is focused towards like open space preservation and and, and some other mm -hmm. pieces um i think that's why it's a different scope than what you expect to see excellent that makes me feel so much better um, the walking path, all the contracts assigned, the engineers engaged, the contractor is engaged, and they should be hopefully breaking ground uh, by the end of the month. And they'll be finished, they, they're required to be finished by June of 2022. Um, chairlift, yeah, still working on that one. That one's not going quickly. But you know, in my own defense, I've been here. <laughs> Where's that chairlift supposed a to be put in? Ish. 
Yeah. Is, where's the chairlift supposed to, is it from outside to inside? No, it's, no, it's just for the stairs to first go up floor to the second floor. floor. Oh. And it's a platform that will actually, you can put a wheelchair on and yep. secure your wheelchair yeah. and bring yeah, it Yeah, it locks it up and, yeah. 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 Does anybody go upstairs anymore? So the whole we, concept. Nobody does because it's not handicapped. Well, gotcha, yeah. okay. And the upstairs needs a lot of work done. Yeah. It, it, the yeah, work, I, I knew I knew it needed a lot of work. That's why. Well, the work was completed. It was beautiful up there, and we had <clears throat> a town a town um, administrative assistant who decided she was going to shut off the heat. And when she shut off the heat, everything started to peel upstairs because it huh. was it had been done all overnight. So it's, interesting. It, it's a mess up there right now. <clears throat> cool. Because we could use it again. I mean, you could use it like we used to use it years ago for like plays. Yeah. And they've had like when we had our 325th anniversary, we used it up. We had like a ball. When my upstairs. daughter was three, she did a recital up there for a local yeah. dance teacher. Yeah. Did she? Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. And, and, and if yeah. when yeah. I went up there, it was like, good to get that. I've been here before. Yeah. <laughs> it would be good from like a meeting space perspective. Yeah. yeah. That's where we used to have town meeting was upstairs. We yeah, you can meeting. easily hold town yeah. meeting up there. And then if I date myself, when, <laughs> when I was growing up, the back parking lot of um, Cassie's property mm -hmm. was the Blanchard School. And we would always come here, and we'd always have our plays upstairs. And they used to have huh. minstrel shows and all kinds of things upstairs. Nice. And it would be nice cool. to see it used again for, yeah. for the yep. purpose. And don't forget, they hoisted Elsie the cow up there. Yeah, Elsie yeah, the cow <laughs> was did. up there, too. Yeah, if, it, if it's one of the big ones that you can put a wheelchair on and not have to have someone yeah, it like, is. It's move a, from, because... Yeah, it's, it's, it's that type. It's, okay. it's, a, it it's, a, it's a full platform kind of, you can in essence, roll wheel on. right up onto it and, yep. yeah. it, and lock and go. Um, okay. When Bill Simpson, young Bill, was in here, didn't he say he's having problems finding somebody to install it? Is that the problem? Well, they had a, a proposed agreement with a company called Garavanta to it, install the, um, the lift. I got a copy of that agreement. Was it last Wednesday? We finally located it. It was sent to me via email um, because it was actually just a proposal. These had it been a contract, I was going to contact them and tell them that they were a violation of their contract. However, it was just a proposal. Got it. And it expired. Right. So now I'm waiting to get a copy of the extension that they offered. Because if it's an expired proposal and it hasn't been acted on, we haven't done anything, we may be starting from scratch. Yep. I don't know yet. We may not be. They may they may be able to come and do it. I, but yeah, Well, in particular, because we've been trying even since prior to its expiration to get them uh -huh. in there. So I think there is documented con contact mm -hmm. prior to the expiration of that proposal and they just never returned the contact. Yeah, yeah, and that's the impression I'm getting. So what I, I was discussing with the Town Hall Improvement Committee, or Bill in particular, was using it as specs to go out to bid. Since we've got the money sitting in an article, if we can find somebody who is capable mm -hmm. and responsible and can install it with the same specs for close to the same money, we may be we have able to move forward. Yeah. So that's where we are. With Has the um, I wonder. So I helped manage another building. It's a couple hundred years old, and we had a um, a multi-level uh, like. Uh, or what you would call it. It wasn't the fancy one where you could roll right up onto it and go. It was like you had to transfer and move up. Mm -hmm. And we had contacted a company and they suggested just because it was only one floor they had to go up, but putting it in an elevator. Like not a full blown metal elevator shaft and all that, but they have like smaller ones that are designed for one person to roll up on. A gate closes and they just go up and then come out again. So basically a chairlift. Essentially, but just a vertical shaft chairlift. Okay. Yeah. But can, so you, can you find out I can try to find it again. This was a couple years ago. Yeah, that. this is a couple years ago, but I can. Because that that would be fantastic. I could try to find that it. Yeah. Might give us an alternative. Mm -hmm. It yeah. might not work with the way the mm -hmm. stairs are set up, yeah. but that was know. the problem that we had was that our stairs were narrow, and like the corner we were trying to cut was too much of a corner mm. to make it so that unless mm -hmm. someone was there essentially to like help the individual, they couldn't make it up. 
Yeah, ours which is actually, defeats the purpose. Our, ours is actually perfect for installation of that okay, type cool. of, of lift. I mean, from a spec perspective, yep. you couldn't actually <clears throat> engineer it better to nice. to put that sort of thing okay. in there. So excellent. Well, that was one of the problems we had here. We're talking about putting a regular a regular elevator. Mm -hmm. We would have had to put it where the renovated old bat the old uh, restroom is, and that's where they were thinking about putting the elevator shaft. Yeah. Okay, and so actually it's been discussed, but that that's mm -hmm. inter if it's if it's a it's essentially just you cut a hole in the floor of the second floor, and it's mm -hmm. like has four and holes that essentially anyway. yeah it's just a vertical yeah area. so that would be fantastic if you could find any information yeah. and forward it over to yeah. me. But with it being a historical building, would, it, the, would we be allowed to cut? Well, that's something that we'd have to consider, yeah, but it'd be good to have the information to kind of. Yeah see what we need to do so we can run it by whomever it is that we need okay. to. Um, I saw that there was a generator in 2018. That was purchased because there was residual on that account. They did get a replacement for that generator. Okay, good. So I can yep. take that off the list yep. because I saw there was money in the account um, when I was going over the accountant's report. Yeah, there's, there's like some residual, like what, like under six thousand dollars left in the account. All right. Yeah, and what was voted was something like thirty-five k, and they they bought the generator for less than what got allocated at town meeting. Okay. Um, the concrete pad. This is the same issue as the as the shed for the transfer station. So, see notes above. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, computer security. The town allocated two thousand dollars for computer security, which is actually a fantastic idea. I asked um, Jacob for a proposal on what he suggested um, to that, see what we need for mm -hmm. equipment or programming mm -hmm. or storage space, depending on yeah. what we already have, which I don't have a full um, working knowledge of at this point. Do we have any offsite backups? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, we do. And then the PEG account, this was wonderful news. Um, PEG is a cable access money. Money was allocated, not this fiscal year, but the prior yeah, fiscal yeah. year. And when I looked at the report, the accounts aren't balanced for last year yet, which is perfectly normal. It's the beginning of August. We only closed the books on July 15th. So I'm not concerned about that at all, but the balances weren't carried forward. So it looked like we were working in the negative. Turns out that there's enough money to hire a cable coordinator Yay. in that account that's Good. already been allocated so we can move forward with, um, with that hiring. So we need the personnel board to meet so that we can get a job description, okay. we need to get it to you, we need to get it to the board for approval according to the bylaws okay. both boards have to um, weigh in on it. And be it post it and hopefully we'll find somebody um, who can well, that's perform good the tasks. So who has, would Sharon have a job description? Or? They're working on You're working on the sh job description. Okay, good. Job. Yeah. Great. Outstanding. So we do have some funding. That's, yes. that's a good yes, story. Yes, I was very happy to hear that. I got an opportunity to speak with Lori this morning. Speaking of which, um, I had asked her for an update on the reconciliations for all of the accounts, and they were emailed to you today. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. So, okay. I saw this. I did not see it come through. That's my bad. I had looked yesterday. But. Okay. Um, so we sort of hit on cable coordinator then in the mm -hmm. process of going okay. through that. So fundamentally, you need an updated job description. It needs to go through personnel and us, and then we can yes. get it posted. Yes, Got please. it. Okay. Um, policy review. I did not um, go over any policies okay. um, in, in light of the other activity activity that's been <laughs> buzzing around. Um, okay. And then are the job descriptions? They're in there, in there yes. Okay. So the first one that I sent you was for the animal control officer. Yep. And that one came up. It was it was an inter it's an interesting story. Mm -hmm. The animal control officer was called by the state police because there was a bat in the barracks. There was a because bat there was in a the barracks. A bat in, in the, the barracks. barracks. 
But she called the animal that. inspector who then explained that that he only deals with actual bites and things of that nature, which is correct because mm -hmm. that is what the state job description requires of him. He deals with animal bites and barn inspections. And so under Mass General Law, the animal control officer is responsible for primarily domestic animals. Mm -hmm. That's it. And what the bylaws or the town's bylaws mm -hmm. have in addition to domestic animals. The town's bylaws are silent as to what types of animals just as it follows. Uh, basically, it parrots back mass general law. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's nothing in the town's bylaw that isn't actually already in Mass, Mass General, General Law. <laughs> so when I did, um, when I looked at the job description, the only thing I changed in it was I changed it from animals to domestic animals. So transporting injured animals. We're, she's not going to transport a fox. <laughs> That's, that's a wildlife no, no, issue. Yeah. And, and under Massachusetts law, you cannot relocate a wild animal unless you are specifically licensed to do so. So um, she had called, told the state police to contact a wildlife removal service, which mm -hmm. was the appropriate yes. thing to do. So all I did was, and I sent you both so that you could see that yeah. all I did was change a couple of words yeah. and it's just added domestic and that's it. And other than that, it's the job description that was put together by the mm -hmm. Collins Center. Yeah. Okay, so can I get a uh, motion to approve the animal control, amended animal control officer job description? Yes, you have a motion to, uh, to uh motion to um, accept the uh, Animal control, animal control officer with a. What do we put in it? You said as amended. Oh, as, as amended. amended. Thank you. Thank you. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so we've got. So one of the things that also came up is that in the towns at, um, and also this this animal control and officer um, said that they were the animal inspector, which they're not. You have one of each here, which is perfectly normal. Um, so I pulled that out of the description as well, which I, I, I mentioned in the email, but I didn't mention just now. So I okay. apologize for not reminding you of mm -hmm. that. Right. Right. That was the other amendment. So. Yes. Um, so then do, do we, we probably need then a limited job description for the current animal no, inspector. No, you don't. No. Because the state because definition the state, of it covers the state it appoints the animal inspector and they have their own description. The town's description oh. is completely unnecessary because okay, it's a state position paid for by the town that's required by the state in every town. Yep. Okay, great. It's basically for disease control in right. domestic um, yeah. wildlife, fowl, um, you know, so rabies. H1, H1N1 and yes. equine, yes. And equine oh, encephalitis yes. and all that. That's, that's basically what, that's why yeah. they do the barn inspection. Well, yeah. Yeah, the barn, yeah. Because I know years ago, my father was. He has to go and count the chickens. My dad was the animal inspector, mm -hmm. and plus he was on the Board of Health. And yeah, I remember he had to go out to all the farms and he had to yep. count all the animals. Make sure and, that they're living in human yep. conditions yep. and that, you know. Yeah. And I remember one time it even entailed uh, somebody had some pigs in town getting out all the time. You used to have to go and round up the pigs. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. And now yeah. this is a position you said that's appointed by the state. Yes, the, the town, town recommends. Oh. It's, it's an appointment okay. that's done every spring. The town recommends, okay. and the state actually does the appointment oh. based on their recommendation. Um, well, years and then ago, they I'm get sure their they instructions do that. from the state. They get their paperwork oh, okay. from the state. They file yeah. their paperwork back with the state. Oh, okay. So the town doesn't actually need a job description for that okay and I pulled it out of here because you're creating a dual role yeah and you don't you don't, want to do you that don't need, we that. Don't need no. that okay okay and then you also had reviewed the town treasurer job description yes yeah. and the Collins yeah. Center um, did a really nice job on well they did a nice job on all of the yeah. the job descriptions actually that I've only as I said there's only a couple little things I found that 
need to be changed, and that's only because of Brookfield's particular um, circumstances. Yeah. Yep. So I would recommend that you accept the town treasurer's job description as presented by the, the Collins, Collins Center. Center. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to accept the uh, treasurer's job description as presented by the Collins Center. I'll second. Um, and just as a, a brief piece of discussion, one, one gap that you did point out is that our expectation that HR function would fall into the treasurer's office, but that's something we can It's cover. actually in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's actually in here. Yeah, because um, yeah, I, I saw it's it. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's the 11th bullet. Administers oh, yep, health, right life, disability, county retirement, yep. processes, and reports. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't call it call it out as human resources, but, but that's, that's fundamentally exactly the functions yeah. that we're talking about. Are, yeah. 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 And, and they're involved with, um, in the hiring, they're responsible for taking care of all the paperwork and making sure that all the W-2s are filed. So other than a complaint of some type of discrimination or... Um, or performance management or stuff like that, which, right. is, which is the supervisors who need to That would to be more in, in my wheelhouse as opposed to a treasurer's wheelhouse. Right. But they would maintain the records mm. of any actions taken in discipline and so yep. on. So okay, because great. they're responsible for personnel records. Yep. yep. So, um, all right, so all in favor? Aye. 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 So what I will do tomorrow is post um, the job using this description, okay. and then we'll get it in the paper. Okay. I'm going to set a deadline for applications for um, September 8th. That'll give us time to review um, the applications. I'm going to ask Lori and Brenda to review the applications with me, mm -hmm. and then we'll give you all of the applications if you want them, and then we will also give you our recommendation based on what the applications are, then we can schedule interviews yes. in however many you want. You can hire them right on the spot if you'd like. Great. I, that's a good idea. I, I approve it, sh that. it should go fairly, yes. fairly quickly mm -hmm. and smoothly. So. Are, are there a lot of potential candidates for town treasurers out there? That's going to be painful. Well, that's a good question. <laughs> Um, like it is, the last is a month time enough time? We applied for we we post the last time I posted a position of this nature. We got because we posted it on Indeed as well as in the local paper and online, and um, we got probably eighty five applicants, oh my of goodness. which five were qualified. Mm. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people. And some were in apply. Ireland, which was kind of freaky. <laughs> like was that's it one of gonna, the qualified people? That was going to be one heck of a commute. Did, yes, it was. <laughs> yeah. Actually, did we have was, something come in too? It was, it was going to be one heck of for a commute. Something, for something, if I remember right, Karen. Yes, I forgot. We posted on Indeed too. We had people from other countries. Yeah, other yeah. countries. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think Indeed just sends anybody they look for um, keywords, yep. and they yes. just pop that you pay them to pop your resume, resume off to people who yeah. Yeah. are within your search criteria. Yep. 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 Unless you, unless like if if we post on there, if we post must be Massachusetts, must be you mm -hmm. know within this area, yeah. must and be a U.S. resident. It doesn't actually necessarily have to be someone from Massachusetts. There may be somebody who is is looking to come, come home. Back. True. Yeah. Come back. Or, or must be a U.S. resident. Yes. Because then you won't get the international. Mm -hmm. Were you going to put it in the um, the advocate from the municipal from Mass Municipal? It won't make it in time. Oh, won't make it in time. No. Okay. The advocate comes out what once a month. Yeah, come in the beacon. The beacon. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know what she meant. Yeah. <laughs> the beacon. <laughs> she knew. I didn't catch that deadline for you. Should we go on the telegram? Um, well, we're going to advertise and then ask them to have their resumes to either Probably. myself or to Karen. How would you like us to do that? Because they're all going to come we usually have to us anyway. But if they, they usually we have them sent to, to, Karen, to Karen's yeah. email address, email address, where yeah, is okay. the selectman at? Yeah, and then we can forward it to, she can forward them to me, yeah. and then I'll distribute yeah. them to Lori okay. and Brenda after and I speak with them and let them know that I just volunteered them for this. <laughs> and it's, uh, <laughs> they're not here, so. <laughs> yeah, they're not here. That's right, you didn't show up. Yeah, yeah, you know, so, you know, get, and, yeah. And, and I know I already expressed this preference, but um, I, I would like to see them all, even yeah. though you guys are going to forward preferences. Yeah. I don't know how y'all feel. Yeah. 
the oh. five white. Yeah. Oh. Absolutely. As long as, it, yeah. as long as there's yeah. not 200 of them. Yeah. Oh, I well, don't. Why don't, why don't you go with them to me, okay. and then I'll take care of that yeah. because you've got uh, enough to yeah. do yeah. without yeah. having yeah. extra yeah. deadline date. Though I still didn't get the it. Eighth. They need to be back to us by September 8th. Okay. Um, did you happen to call Charlton? Because I know that they were advertising food. Not yet. Oh, no. not yet. Okay. Not yet. Yeah, and, and typically, where would you advertise? Would you do like the Worcester and Springfield papers as well, or just do kind of like? Well, under the bylaw, we're required to post it in a local paper. Yeah. So we're going to do that. Yeah. And then I don't know which is more prevalent in town, um, which which would have the widest. I would imagine Charlie Publications because they have the yeah. most newspapers. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I that I'm aware of. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, yeah I would do Stonebridge. Stonebridge. Yeah, Stonebridge. Stonebridge. Yeah, Stonebridge. Yeah, Stonebridge. And the Telegram are the. Uh, yeah, I run it on a Sunday in the Telegram. The, yeah. That's outrageous. Like, yeah, we. I don't know that we have the money for oh, that okay. though, Linda. Yeah. So we have to. We have to. Yeah, I would go with. I would go with Turley and Stonebridge. And yeah. then you could always have. Um, Ask Brenda to put it out on the treasurer. Oh yeah, it'll eat. go out there. Go it'll go out on the treasurer collectors. It's going to go yeah. out on the small town administrators in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I'm trying to think if there's another group. Although, and I'm trying to poach from another town just in case anyone's listening, so that we can get people who are already familiar with with this particular wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen town positions for other places like on LinkedIn and stuff like that. Because it's more of like a selected group. Yeah, and, and actually, LinkedIn, LinkedIn LinkedIn is not that expensive either. No, actually. But it's it's like a it's less of a catch all than like Indeed, where you dump it in and then yeah. it sends all the stuff. Like LinkedIn, you. It, it's so. Uh, you and I are going to work on this first thing tomorrow, so okay. that we can get this up and posted. I've already got everything preset mm -hmm. on the website. All I have to do is hit publish. So it'll go up on the website as well. Yeah. And I can share it on through all like, because I have contacts in the, uh, the city government systems. Excellent. So they might be able to share it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Because the more we get it out, then the better. You yeah. Know, yeah. If, you, if you do put it on LinkedIn, let me know because I'm not that active, but I do have a really pretty broad network, yeah. including inside Massachusetts. Okay. So. so the next thing we need to do is decide what the salary is going to be. So you, there is... Potentially eighty-five thousand dollars in a salary line item for this particular position. That is not where we want to go. With no. This. No. What? What? What did? What's the Collins Center numbers come in at for treasurer? I do not know. You'll have to look that. Where they came in at? I think they came in about. What, what came out? I think it, if I remember correctly, it was roughly thirty dollars an hour, which comes out to be yeah, sixty-ish. That is not what people are are paid. No. They're paid between. And and this is just my own personal experience with the um, treasurers that I know, they're they're paid closer to 36. 36? Oh, yeah. Goodness. So okay, so we're 36, looking at like 70, 70 yeah, to 75, 72. somewhere yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. So if we put that range 70 to 75, and you've got wiggle room to hmm. discuss. Yeah. Yeah. Because didn't didn't you say when I had talked talk to you about it that we need somebody in here the four days a week? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I'm posting the job as a 37 hour yeah, week. 37 job. hour week. Yeah. It is. Which will be, you know, basically full time. Yeah. But salaried position, so they know right. that they're yeah. they're working. They're full on the time hook for getting the work and done. They need to yep. get the work done within however many hours they need to get the work done. That's good. So, and you've discussed this. Yeah, you told me you discussed this with Sarah also. Yes. Not in any detail, yeah. but that, that yeah, this actually, was a road even that we were going to take. Even at 36, at 37 hours a week, if the salary is based off of that, you're looking at $70,000, 69 to. Yeah. yeah. But you're looking at 52.2 weeks. You're not looking at 52 weeks. Yeah. Because there aren't 52 weeks in a year, oddly enough. Okay, yeah. so 70, yeah. 76.49. Yeah, a, a, a quick Google search said around 80. Yeah. yeah, is what like the. Yeah, but we're a smallish one. town. Well, yeah, that town. was just a, yeah. an average yeah. Massachusetts. Yeah. You saw how extremely successful your last search was, so. Yeah, yeah but we, we were we were we were paying much. twenty thousand dollars less. Actually, we were paying twenty five thousand dollars less. So yeah. I don't think we can even 
compare. Yeah. So, well, so the last some... time we were paying what we were paying and not paying what the market was. Yeah. So and, what's your and cap? It, and it's competitive right now. What's your cap? <laughs> well, if our if our budget is you said our budget is eighty five. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'd say that's probably that's the cap. Well, no, but I, not, I, that's I not our no. starting point. No, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't go back. That. Absolutely not. But so what I want to do in the advertisement is put in a range. I I think I put depending can, can on the qualifications. Can you put in ranges? You can. You can. You absolutely. could absolutely yeah. put a range yeah. in an app. Absolutely. And, and it's depending it's on experience. This is a contracted. This is a contracted okay. position. It's a salaried yeah. position, yeah. so it's I, negotiable. I would, I would put sixty-eight to seventy-four. Okay. Oh, I was going to say seventy to seventy-five. Yeah. That's what okay. I th I put 70 to 70. Adam, you think the same? Yeah, yeah I, I think 70, 70 75, to 75, yeah. Okay. Because there will be some that will just look at the first number. They'll just see the six, even though it's only $1,000. Yeah, and we're already at six. We don't need six. We're going to go somewhere and else. We want yeah. And yeah. we want experience. Right. So we want yeah, somebody they, trying to they won't see like 68. I said, we're trying to pull somebody. Good point. And then, we're trying to woo somebody I mean, I from that. another yeah. town that's already got yeah. it going on. So. I know. Yeah. We don't want somebody coming in that needs somebody to teach them. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. And I mean, I'm, a teacher, not a student. I, yeah. I'm guessing the job market's pretty competitive now, based on most right. of the other job markets are pretty competitive. Yes, and again, it's the same circular situation where mm -hmm. if I wanted to go to, so this week is collector treasurer school, if I wanted to go to either one of those, I A, had to either work for a municipality or be a collector or a treasurer or an assistant collector mm -hmm. or an assistant treasurer. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't get the experience unless you already get the school. Yeah, that's, yeah. You can't get the school mm -hmm. unless you that's already get the job. So. Yeah, that's what we, yeah, same story that we discussed last time. Mm -hmm. Although they may have opened it up. I know that, um, I, don't see why not. I know that they're allowing other people into like assessor school or they were, I don't know since COVID hit what's going on with it now, but um, I could have attended and, and kept my credits up for my MAA certification, but I'm not allowed to use it because I'm not an assessor. Right. So I can't say I have an MAA certification that I'm formally certified, <clears throat> even though I need one class to get recertified. Yeah. They won't recertify me. They'll give me the credits, but they won't recertify yeah. me. Because and I, I believe that's changed, but I'm not positive. Yeah, because you're not working the position. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Um, okay, so we covered job descriptions. We covered everything on the agenda. The one thing that was, I do want one alibi fire on the project list. Mm. Um, status on the um, fire truck because the fire truck's not listed. Oh yes, mm. yes. So, and I know that the chief. I know during the staff meeting, the chief went over it and he's made good progress. But I know there were also some questions about depending on which vendor we picked. Like we might be able to get some savings by buying the chassis in advance. And I don't know how complicated that would make the financing. So it's not actually. It's very very common to do that. Okay, I've seen that happen in three other towns where they that they, that's how they purchased the truck mm -hmm. and had it built. Yep. So so, but if we could truck. add that to the yes. to the punch list, that would be good. I didn't see anything else that was a now the no. fire truck was it was voted this year? It was yep. this year. Yeah, I this missed year. that. Okay. Fire truck on this. Seems like it's pretty easy too. It did. Good catch. So like a broke clock. That was one of my two for today. So um doesn't look like we had any correspondence. Nope. Was there anything else we needed to cover tonight? Or that we're actually could uh, legally cover tonight? Um it wasn't in the agenda, but I was asked um, just for so by making a face. I'm making a face. You no, know, just by <laughs> other boards yeah. to keep them apprised if the selectmen make any changes on the COVID stuff that in town. Whether we go back to the selectmen go back to virtual or we go back to hybrid or something like that. Or mass or whatever. Yeah, to keep the other boards apprised because they're kind of working off of uh, taking suggestions from selectmen. Whatever the selectmen decide, they'll kind of go with. Can we reach out to the Board of Health and find out if there's any changes to guidance right now? I know actually they're recommending masks indoors. Town mm -hmm. Council has been keeping us surprised yeah. of what, okay. what's yep. being recommending and requiring are two entirely different things. Yeah. Yep. So we need to kind of tread lightly there until they're required. But right. yeah, anybody who wants to wear a mask and feels more comfortable in a mask should yeah. be putting one on. Yeah. If that's what 
they yeah. want to do. They feel that that's it's what they a, It's need a free country do. if someone no. wants to wear a mask. So far. Dag uh, damn it. They they so far, yes. They're, they're just can. not beard friendly. They are not beard friendly. No. So. no. And it's like hard a, to get a, a wing. Well, the whole reason, and the whole reason actually why in a lot of military services you can't wear a beard is because you can't, you can't get, get a seal. Skin contact, you can't yeah. get a seal on a mask. Yeah. You're yeah. not going to get a seal on a cloth mask anymore. No. It's like trying to stop a mosquito with a chain link fence. No. <laughs> so, um, I think that's it then. That's it. So, can I get a, a, a motion to adjourn? You have a motion to adjourn at 724. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That was easy.